Hello everyone and welcome back to the episode on the NovaCraft Season 2 server with me, Engineer Law, and we are starting things off here at our wonder wonderful base that we did a lot of work on last episode, like this. That. I am out of fireworks. That's an embarrassing fact. But in today's episode, we actually aren't gonna be really working on our base. We're actually gonna be working on a different project. And you're wondering what that project is? Well, it is a goal. In today's episode, we'll be working on a super fast, super great, super ultimate gold farm. Oh, we work Minecraft 1.63. Actually, I'm still 1.16.2. Doesn't matter. Uh, uh, Ow, that's embarrassing. A little bit like watching the paint dry. This is a few stacks of glass for the project. We're also gonna need some other building material. I don't want it to just be stone. I want it to be some sort of elegant building material. And it doesn't. Uh. I just realized something. We're gonna need a lot of magma blocks for this. So. I'm gonna go get myself some magma blocks. There is something definitely satisfying about this mine. It's big patches of magma. I mean, just look at this! Ah, uh, so satisfying. So satisfying. So satisfying. Back to back my box everywhere. Got, it, got them all. Get them all. Okay, I guess I got them. That many magma blocks, I think it's a good start. We have some smooth stone. I feel like I'm gonna want some. So I'm hoping that down over here. A little bit. Ah. Uh, only have that much. Okay. Alright, so I guess what to do with that. Four stacks of smooth stone. Uh, whatever. Stone. I have plenty of it. It's probably an even. Probably be better resources. Well, to use. Alright. Let's try to that. Right here. And. Where all those stone go? Great. Ah! There you go. There you go. And boom. Alright. Back to the work. Ah, great. I need to now chop trees. That's gonna be awesome. Not really. There we go. Two stacks of blocks. Specifically jungle blocks. That's what I can gather. And now we can burn it into woods. I can burn it into chests. And I can burn half of those. Oops. Now, I need to breed a bunch of turtles. Uh, how do you get seagrass? Do you use, what do you use to get seagrass? Shears? Might be shears. I'm not sure. I should, I should have shears somewhere. Heck? That's a like. Hello? Shears right there. Newsflash. There you go. Yes. That's what I'm supposed to do. So I'm just gonna bone you all a bunch of air and just gonna shear it all down. So that's probably the easiest thing to do. Oh, that's a lot of seagrass. That's a lot. I'm now on my way to find myself a turtle island. So let's see how well that's gonna work. Alright, everyone. I now have three shulker boxes of what I think should be everything. Uh, ooh. Uh, uh oh. I forgot about one little thing. Uh, do I have any sticky pistons in my redstone shulker box? Please tell me I do. I do. Do I have any obsidian? Probably should. In this chest, yes. Mmm, TNT... Uh, where's my TNT box? Where's my TNT box? Oh, no, my TNT box. Alright, so I think I found a decently sized area to make our gold farm. And now I just need to find the best way to get up to the nether roof. And I think I found myself a little bit of a little poke hole. Ooh, I do have to engage. Alright. 
Gotta go a little bit of a hike now. Oh, jeez, it's actually pretty far. Hope I did this correctly. Uh, I don't think I did. Ah, uh, no, I didn't. Oh no, that's not good. All right, let's hope this time's better. Goals just hit, and oops. Oh no, and uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. There we go. Here we go, my friends. All right. Spider chest. TNT. TNT. Done. Uh, sticky piston. Just regular pistons, actually. Here is this. Richard D's. What do I need for this? I need one bit of obsidian. And I need a button. Or a lever. Uh, I have this. Do I have any sticks? I have love sticks. Good. Alright, so now. Mm, crafting bench. No, I can craft a thing. Alright, got ourselves a lever. Now I have to figure out what place this is. And I'm gonna go to spectator for for this. So it's this block. So. That. That. Piston. Piston. Uh. TNT. TNT. Lever. I don't have a trapdoor. That is not good. How does one make a trapdoor again? I don't even know now. I'll need to take a look. Alright, so I got myself a trapdoor. Boom. And boom. Now, I'm gonna time out for this real quick because I don't have it on me. I'm gonna have to boot up my auto clicker in order to break this piece of bedroom. Um, it's one milliseconds. Alright. And I just need to come up here. This little minus out button because I'm using Windows. Flip this thing. Spam F6. Of course that didn't work. Of course it didn't work because I am an idiot. Mouse button. Right. That's a right mouse button, not a left mouse button. That's an error on my part. Alright, build it back up again. Where'd the lever go? Ah, great. Now I need to go get more cobblestone. Alright, here we go. Uh, F6. Ah, uh, I can't even open this. And... Is that the wrong piece of bedrock? Ah, uh -uh, no. Nah. -uh. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. It's this block, not that block. I... I'm once again being a doofus. I don't have a piece of TNT left as well. Alright, hopefully this time it should work with like the million renovations that we've done to it. So down here, click this lever, hit F6, and why did that place a trapdoor? Hello? Oh, duh, duh. Uh... I'm getting tired. I, I'm getting tired of working on this. This doesn't want to work. It just blew. You you all saw it. That thing is done. The devil. Place that. Place that. Place that. Down here. And F6. Ooh. There we go. That's how we do it. Quick and sweet and easy to master. Boom. 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 Also, if you're wondering why I don't have any levels right now, it's actually a bug for some reason. It doesn't like me, so like if I were to leave and rejoin, it's back. It's weird. I don't really understand. But we now have ourselves a actual functioning thing, and I just realized it would actually probably do if I were to get myself some scaffolding, which means I have plenty of bamboo. I just need string. And where am I going to get string from? Because I don't think I have any string anywhere. Nope. None. Go on. Scaffolding. Everyone, so this is the area that we have been building with, and we're at the top of that scaffolding tower right now is the area where we're building our gold farm, which is inside of a nether wastes, thankfully. Hopefully, yeah. 
Yep. All, yep, it's all, pretty much, everything is in a s How much farther? Alright, that's perfect. So, this entire area that I'm flying around in right now is all nether waste. So, this is good. This is a good location. I found just a little swath. So, basically what we'll be doing is... First... Hmm. Stone. I'm gonna grab myself some stone, cause... I'm gonna try to build, like, a little bit of a platform, almost. To just, like, make it a little bit easier. We'll be building up the uh, layers of this gold farm. And then, hopefully be moving on to building up collection systems and all that. So, I'm hoping to finish it in the today's episode. But, who knows? Who knows egg exactly? Alright, there you go. Boop. She doot. And shock box one, shock box two, and shock box three. Let's go! A little bit of testing, and I actually found out something that I'm somewhat, maybe, kinda, sorta, kinda concerned slash worried about, but I guess it's okay. And that's the fact that. Uh, can I not place blocks? Come on, let me place a block. Uh, boom. There you go. And that is the fact that... Um, so, unfortunately, we're not able to do s stuff, because as you can see there, it had to light up that entire bedrock area. I don't know why I did that. Oh, it was kind of not necessary. Although it looks kind of cool. Gonna have to build the gold farm kind of like this. So have like a five block wide out stretch. So five blocks here. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So you do it back again. So that's five blocks. So one, two, three, four, five. And the same thing on the other side over here. Then the center will be the turtle egg area with a smart way to catch the pigmen. I kind of designed this, but I didn't as well. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And I need to fail on the platforms just like this. I'm not sure how this is going to go. Like I said, this is my first gold farm that I'm actually building. This is solely for the drops. It's not for XP purposes. XP gold farm would have needed a completely different design. And, yeah. Okay. And then, over here. That's the little last area. And, over here. And, boom. She do. There we go. Oh, these are what these modules are gonna look like. They're gonna look exactly like how I just made them. And, like I said, they are designed to spawn pigmen, so... We just fly up here, we might actually get some spawns. Yep, as you can see, got some spawns, and they head right towards Pigmen. They don't stand a chance against that turtle egg. Alright, now I just need to figure out a way to land on some of these blocks. I actually success. Look, look at those Pigmen. You know, it's actually kind of funny as well, just seeing this fall to their deaths. I know that sounds kind of rude, but... We actually guys have ourselves a working gold farm. I'm surprised. I'm happy. Let's get to the other monsters working. So, without further ado, let's get back into another time lapse. Let's go.
Alex running for a while. And... Yeah, look at all this rotten flesh. And that actually, my friends, just gave me an idea. We could put some cleric villagers into our villager trading hall. And then we could technically use those clerics to sell our rotten flesh away. Because I don't know what to do with rotten flesh, because there's really nothing to do. I mean, I could search it up. Yeah, yeah I'm going to go search it up first. But anyway, I the replay mod crashed while working on this. So you don't see the full effect. This is the gold farm in full swing. This thing is absolutely massive and it took me a day and a half a day and a half and i'm 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 like i'm literally devoting my entire weekend to just working on this project and we're pretty much done with it as well it's not even funny this is insane insane <clears throat> so it's a nine so there are nine um, cores, and each core has a bunch of columns. I don't know exact spotting platforms, and yeah, they just rain down. But right now, I need some chests. I don't know why I sick just 60. There's a ghast. I don't know what that ghast is, but it's getting, he's going down. Uh, and, and boom. There you go. So basically what we'll be doing is we'll just be basically putting a bunch of gold blocks in here. And hope maybe uh, I really wish it would add like rotten flesh blocks, cause that would make collecting rotten flesh so much easier. So I thought just found out where my Nether portal is gonna go, and it's gonna be right here. So what I'm actually gonna do right now is I'm just gonna clear out a massive, 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 like like a huge space here for us to build like our piglin trading hall, gold farm systems, and all of that. Cause I just have my little episode seven over here. We currently have. 16 minutes, so I'll have a two minute time lapse here and maybe a little bit of decorating. So, without further ado, let's get right back into it. Unless we went through this entire place is done but we're gonna need to go repair our things because i need to my fortune three pickaxe and my silk tucked pickaxe are broken and i broke that as well so i'm gonna try to nope skeleton wants to shoot me goodbye mr skeletons adio uh-oh uh-oh i can't move i can't move ah there you go i don't know what happened there 
surprisingly, we didn't find any ancient debris in these almost square chunks that we took out. It's interesting. Uh, whoa. Yeah, that's why I need to be careful. It's a steep, steep drop off there. So, pickaxes. And lights placed later, and we now have ourselves basically the entire area for our piglin trading hall and our villager, cleric villager setups completed. So this is the entire area we'll be putting together. The piglin trading hall, gold farm storage, villager trading hall for to get rid of that rotten flesh, and all of that. But I needed to place down a bunch of torches, because otherwise ghasts and everything else would spawn. And I am not a fan of ghasts. They are annoying. They've blown up this mini store system about 10,000 times. Thankfully, they haven't escaped up here, because if they did, then it would have been tragic. And jeez, every time I come up here, I just think, jeez, jeez. You want to see what it looks like? We'll see. Um, here we go. It's just, it just rains zombified piglins. Rains. I mean, however, we only get gold ignits and rotten flesh, because you, because you don't kill them. I can get experience, so it only drops that stuff, which is cool. And it is a lot actually easier to sort. So, yeah, I'm enjoying this. I have learned a lesson. Apparently, these guys can still spawn. I don't know how you guys can still spawn. You're not supposed to spawn. Oh, gas, 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 gas. Gast, gast. Die, gast. Gasts. Annoying, annoying, annoying. What else did it blow up? Ugh, not again. The gas always blows up this area. Err, Annoying. And... Boom. Ah, I'll take care of that stuff later. But anyway, I'm actually not going to look for some nether fortresses, because I am going to need to get blaze powder. With the brewing stands. So, I'll be on my way with that. And I think there should be a fortress somewhere over... Is that a ruin? <gasps> That's a ruined portal. Wonder what's in here. Fortune 3. And a clock. Nothing special. Alright, let's get back to work on... Where's the entrance? Over there. Alright, bye. Oh. Wow. What is this? This is a pretty big fortress. We're looking for blazes. Blazes. We're not looking for- at least we're not looking for wither skeletons. But, if they do get in my way, I will be more than happy to kill them. Alright, so I'm not gonna go back to my base, because I need to get cobblestone. So... I'm not sure how I would get cobblestone. Ooh. This is a jackpot. That's actually very good. Because we have this resource pack that converts that to cobblestone. And boom! There you go. Got ourselves our 30 brewing stands. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Alright, but I think that with the last suit of my bed, that is all that I have time for for today. All those of creative venture mode survive. I don't even know what all that stuff is for crying out loud anyway. There's some issues going on at the server earlier today, so I had to fix some of that. Like, for example, when I right-click with the torch, it deleted the torches. All of them. I'm not sure. But anyway, that's about all the time I have that I have time for for today. If you guys have liked this video, leave a like and forward it. Then make sure to subscribe. And my name is Engineer Allen. The Engineer is out of here. I will see you all in the next one. And by the way, that like-dislike challenge has now been over at the time that this video comes out. So, currently, that number hasn't been met. But, I will update you the second it goes live in the description of this video, if it has been reached. But anyway, I'm out. See y'all later.